what's up it's snakey niche aka niche um welcome back to my channel guys it's been a little minute it's and it's all my fault um i've been dibbing dabbing not dibbing dabbing look at my dab dibbing dab dibble and dabbling dibbling and dab is that the phrase i've been doing a lot i've been doing a lot on instagram um i've been i've been taking a lot of selfies because i've been by myself a lot um <laughs> But that's all good. Um, it's usually because I am my best photographer. I don't have a lot of friends that are good photographers, in my opinion, or I'm by myself. So that's the reason why. But anyway, the reason to say that is on Instagram, people have been asking me how do I get my bun, the buns that I have. And they're really easy, they're really simple. And I was like, hey, I'm about to run out real quick. I'm about to throw my hair in a bun. I might as well show you guys how I do it. So that's what this tour is gonna be about today. And if you have any other questions, you can email me. My email's in the bio on my Instagram, which is Naked Niche. Or you could just write them down below and comment below and ask me any other questions that you have. And so we can hop right in it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. And please subscribe to Naked Niche if you haven't done it already. Bye. Hey guys, okay, so I'm starting out with Bantu knots that I did two days ago. If you want to see how I did that, check out my How To Bantu tutorial on my channel. I'll be updating that very soon by the way, but it won't be too many changes from the original tutorial. So as you can see, I've already started undoing the Bantu knots and separating the twist with my fingers. This isn't my best Bantu knot out here, but it's all going into a high messy bun, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't really have to be perfect, ladies. tooth comb to try to erase the harsh parts in my head created by the sections of the bantu knots I made. This is why I always say never try to part your hair exactly in straight parts when you do bantu knots. They will be too hard to erase when you try to take them out. Just pull a good amount of hair into each section and let the parts be crooked. <laughs> when you undo your knots and fluff like the next day your hair will have barely any trace of parts or any sectioning you may have done. It actually looks way more natural that way too, but anyways, not only am I trying to erase the obvious parts in my head, especially that big back one, I know you see that one in the back, but I'm trying to pull the roots up upwards to stretch the hair out with the comb to try to make for a bigger, messier bun. The bigger the hair, the bigger the bun. Right now I'm showing how I stretch out my hair ties if it's not already stretched out enough. For this style, you need a stretched out hair tie. Too tight and your bun will be too small. Now I'm using the pick to stretch out my hair and roots a little bit more. Definitely want big hair for this style. Gather all your hair together and wrap the hair tie only once around all of your hair. And you know, this is so funny. People ask me if this is my natural hair color all the time. I actually dyed it black after being like a golden honey color for a while. And the black just faded. And this red brown color is the result of that. Um, I really don't know why my hair, like it hates to stay black. I don't know why. Um, but it's really funny just because my mother's hair is this exact same color. So, hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just discovered Design Essentials Honey and Shea Edge Control. Girl, when I tell you this is literally everything, like I am in love. 
Um, when I use edge control on my hair though, I cannot use edge control without wetting my brush. I have to wet my brush. So I just kind of use a spray bottle, but normally I do my hair in the bathroom. So I always wet my brush before I even slick my edges. That's just how I slick my edges. And also, if you want to learn how I do that, I have a tutorial on how to lay my baby airs. It's like, I believe it's called like Baby Hairs 101. And you can check out that tutorial at my channel as well. So the whole trick to this style is securing the hair tie down on your head with bobby pins. Open the bobby pin and slide it onto the hair tie so the hair tie is in place on your head. You're going to go around your head like a square or kind of like an octagon and just secure each corner of your hair tie down with bobby pins. It makes your bun kind of look like the size of the perimeter of your head so by holding the base of your hair tie down in place with bobby pins that leaves for more hair for a bigger bun. Now I'm just pulling all my hair to make sure my hair tie is secure in place and maximize the amount of hair I want in the bun. And now just pull your hair frontwards and fold it back. Put bobby pins just to keep everything in place and that is how you create your bun. I like my bun to sit up higher and more forward on my head so I'll just pull my hair forward and readjust any bobby pins if need be. I also like for a really messy bun so I'll pull some of the curls out on the side and in the front and then just place bobby pins on them so that they'll stay. The fun part about this bun is you can make it as neat or as messy as you really like. I don't brush the back of my hair because it kind of just looks like I threw it up in the bun. But by doing my baby hairs in the front, it has some type of cleanliness to it. So it's really uh, just up to you. But I hope you guys really like it. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more hair tutorials or videos just in general, just leave me a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram. Please subscribe to Naked Niche and I'll see you guys next time. Stay naked, beauties. Baby, baby.